Hello guys, last week I started a new challenge on this YouTube channel with many to many relations and it's time to view the results and comment how I would solve that challenge. And this video with code example will be useful for anyone who wants to learn deeper many to many relationship even if you didn't participate in this challenge or haven't seen that at all. So the initial task was, for those of you who haven't seen, is the country list of Olympic Games, or in fact sports list. And for every sport you can choose a country who won the medals, first, second and third place. And the task was to populate the table of results. And if you submit, it's hard-coded table in the blade. So there's no structure for many-to-many -many relationships, how to calculate that table and stuff in between. So the first version of the code, the initial version of the code was just create form with list of sports, but then store and show method for the table were empty and also create blade contained kind of hard coded names like first and second and third for the table. And I expected you to change those to be able to work with arrays or any other structures for the sports. I have actually 17 pull requests and another interesting number is number of forks. So 33 people apparently started and half of them actually finished the pull request, which is okay. I'm fine with low numbers. It's lower than other challenges, but I will have time to review most of them. That's a good thing, right? Now let's go to my own pull request, which is actually one of them. And I will comment one by one. This challenge had a few sub challenges. So step by step. First challenge was how to define the relationships. So in the initial project, there were models of country and sport, but there is nothing in between. And it's pretty obvious, and I hinted that in the original video, that it should be many to many relationship between country and sport, right? But also there should be another field, additional field in that pivot table for which place is that relationship for. So country and sport makes kind of a position in the table, but then you need the number of that position. And a lot of you created kind of a model, intermediate model or pivot model, but it's not really necessary. My solution for that is to create belongs to many between each other. So from country model, I'm looking at my own pull request now, belongs to many sport with pivot off position and the other way around countries with pivot off position. And this is the migration. The migration needs to contain only two fields. So that's the pivot table thing. And actually a few things to explain here. If you name the pivot table under the convention of Laravel, which is singular form of both tables, which is countries and sports, and also in the alphabetical order, so country before sport, then you don't need to provide any other fields here. So belongs to many automatically resolves the names of the fields. And constraint means it is constrained to countries table or sports table respectively. And also another field on sign small integer, I called it position. You may call it place or metal or something. It's a number which is also with pivot here because we will use it later in other code. So that was the part of migration and model relationships. Next, what should be the structure and the field names of that form? Because we have five sports and for each sport, we have three fields. So some of you created with dash, so sports dash dash something sport ID or something. So you created 15 fields with some kind of a separator. But what I would choose, and again, it's a personal experience, instead of that first and instead of that second and third, what I've chosen is, let's open up the GitHub again, array structure. So array of sports with key of sports ID, which is part of the for each, so for each of the sports, let me open that original. So for each of the sports, there are three fields for each sport. So it would be sports, then key of sport ID, and then three sub keys for that array. So it's a multidimensional array. So sports ID zero instead of first, then sports ID one and sports ID two. So it's array of sports and each sport contains zero, one and two elements. Then to save that structure in the controller, I have this code. So for each of those sports, which will be five elements, and sport ID is the key element and countries is zero, one and two. So this is also an array, right? So I start with position one and for each of that countries array, I attach with belongs to many relationship, attach a country, 
which is id with pivot table position equals position and position is one then increased to two and then increased to three now important part what is sport here a lot of you in your code did find inside of the for each so for each of the sports find the sport so eloquent query to the database and then do this sport i made it a bit optimized so there's no five queries to the database for each of the sport one query i do one query to get all the sports and then i work with collection so sports find doesn't query the database it finds from the collection from this one so sport is one sport element one row from the database but it still has all the properties of belongs to many relationship and I can attach it here. So this is my version of saving the data with array structure. Next validation. So store sports request class has validation rules of this. And this is interesting. Maybe you haven't seen it done in this way. So sports, any key, any number is required. And also for that, I customize the message of please choose the country if I don't do that, the error message is sports.1.0 is required, which is totally not human friendly. So this actually corresponds to the array structure. So if you have array structure of multiple keys, so multidimensional array, the dot notation is what replaces the array notation in the blade. So again, sport ID is the first star, then 0, 1, or 2 is the second star. And also you can see that in the blade, so error sports dot sport ID dot 0 is how I get to error parameter. And this same here. So if there is error message with sports, with specific sport and specific number, it's sports dot sport ID dot 0 or dot 1 in this case. So that's about validation of required fields. Separately, I offered bonus points for validation of not repeating the country, but this will be outside of this video. Maybe I will shoot a separate video on your potential solutions with AlpineJS or Livewire or other stuff. For this video, let's focus on the main task, which was many-to-many -many relationship. Finally, the results table, how to calculate all of that. To understand those calculations better in the results table, let's actually fill in some data and see what we have in the database. So I will use fake fill or Chrome extension to fill in the 15 countries. I submit, and this is the result table. And in the database, we have a table called country sport, as I mentioned in the migration. And this is foreign key to country, this is foreign key to sport, and this is the position. Cool. Now, how do you calculate top countries with at least one medal ordered by gold, then ordered by silver, and then ordered by bronze? This is the solution that I came up with in the show method. Country model has sports, which means has at least one medal, and then we do with count. With count calculates the amount of records of the relationship, and you can add a condition to that. So first, with count sports as gold as gold will return us the result with that field specifically as that field named and callback function i query where position equals one so this will be gold similarly silver similarly bronze with position two or three respectively and with count also accepts the array so you can do with count then with count again and then with count again or you can form the array out of that and then we can order by gold, then order by silver, and order by bronze. And in the show blade, the result is just this. For each of the countries, gold, silver, and bronze. So this is the query, how to get that all ordered by what we need. So that was the challenge. That was my version, how to solve it. It's not the only version. It's not maybe the most correct version. You can challenge that as well and comment on my pull request, which I will link down below in the description. You can also see other pull requests, how other people did that and what solutions they came up with. So challenges are quite a good way, in my opinion, to learn Laravel with practice, because whenever you practice, you learn something. Only then it's the best way to learn. If you want more challenges in the future, to be honest, it takes quite a lot of time for me to prepare and then review and then analyze. So I'm not sure I will be doing that weekly, maybe every few weeks or so. But to get those challenges, subscribe to the channel to get them first and participate. And also you can support my mission of those daily videos and challenges by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen now, Quick Admin Panel, Live Wire Kit, and my courses on Teachable Platform. See you guys in other videos.